Yo, what's going on everybody? Izo G or Jared back with another video for you guys today and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we are playing some MW2 beta and man, I gotta say, there's a lot more good than bad. Um, but in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what I've seen and what I've noticed while I was playing the game, um, kind of my dislikes and what I want them to change or improve. Um, but in today's video, I popped off. I got a gnarly kill streak i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys do smash that like button and comment down below and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs> Alrighty, before I let this video roll out and you guys see the gameplay, I'm going to talk about a few things. My personal opinions, what I think about the game, what's the good, what's the bad. Um, a lot of mainly, I feel like, bugs as well. Um, but I'm just going to get right into it. But enjoy the background gameplay. Um, so first things first, overall, <clears throat> the gameplay is really, really smooth. It honestly feels like an old Call of Duty, which is amazing, and I'm so excited. Another cool feature that they brought back into this Call of Duty was third person. Um, the one thing that they did change about the third person is that you can actually zoom in to first person when you shoot somebody, which is cool, but I feel like they should also add in a portion where you're not zoomed in in first person because it won't feel like the old third person back in the day what used to be in Call of Duty if that makes sense another thing that I heard they added in this Call of Duty is once you get an attachment for that class let's say assault rifles that attachment you will have for the other assault rifles so you only have to earn attachments once which is a pretty sick feature in my opinion and honestly I just wanted to pick more bad out of the game than good um, I feel like that's just how any new game or like content creator or just anybody that plays a game that's just how they I guess judge the game they pick out the bad instead of the good however like I said the game feels great feels like an older Call of Duty and I'm very excited to see what this year's Call of Duty has in store for us. Now, moving on to the things I pointed out. One of the first things I noticed during the game, um, in the pre-game lobby when you're trying to invite friends, trying to party up with people, even just trying to mute in-game chat because um, when you're playing solo and you don't want to hear in-game, you're not in a party chat uh, for us PS4 players or Xbox players. Um, you have to, there's you have to go to a certain menu in the top right rather than just pressing like triangle or something to like go to that menu to invite people or join their party. I feel like they need to make it a lot faster. That way it's easier to, you know, party up. Um, same with muting the people in the lobby. They just need to make it a click of a button like they did in Vanguard. Um, I think that would benefit people who play solo and people who are trying to join their parties. Second thing I noticed while adjusting you know the gun I was using is they went back to the old version of Call of Duty where there's a cap limit on attachments I think they should just let us use whatever attachments like pretty much cap our weapon out with how many of our attachments it has like if it has like 10 attachments let's use all 10 don't let us stop at 5 I think that's kind of stupid um, however maybe that's what their way of trying to balance the game if so, cool. But, in my opinion, I don't like it. Now, this next one, I think a lot of us have already pointed out, and that is not being able to shoot while sliding. Now, that may be just a bug in the game, or maybe we just can't do it at all. Um, maybe they've changed it by now, but they need to change it where we can shoot while sliding, because it's kind of dumb. Like, it just puts us in a bad position if we're trying to get into a gunfight or sliding. The whole point of us sliding was trying to get us into a better position and to try and fight our opponent. So, that's just me. You guys probably agree. 
The next one, I believe, is also another bug, but I'm not too sure. Um, but for some reason, when I was playing in game and I had my kill streaks stack, what I mean by that is I got a kill streak and then I got another kill streak, it wouldn't let me go to my previous kill streak. Like I said, I think it's just a bug in the game for right now. Um, but if we truthfully can't do that when the game launches, um, that's going to be a problem. A lot of people are going to get mad about that. Now this isn't necessarily a downfall to the game or like my dislike of the game. It's kind of, I feel like they just need to fix the thing that they added. Um, that little new mantle thing that you can do on ledges. Um, it needs to be like easier to grab and easier to get off of the mantle, if that makes sense. So like I said, I could just be nitpicking the little things, but I feel like they need to do better on that. I mean, cool mechanic, however, it could use some work, in my personal opinion. Now lastly, um, I could be just me, again, nitpicking. Some people may feel the same way I do. If you do, cool, let me know. If not, cool. Um, the perks. If you guys notice, there's like a new perk system. Um, it's kind of like a specialist. You pick um, the perks that you just want, or like the package you want. You cycle through those, but you don't have a third perk. You only have perk one and two. And then every, um, I believe it's like halfway through the game, you get your that first bonus perk. And then like later down the game again, you get that other perk and then so on and so forth. However, I did notice like if you're playing domination or like a objective game, um, earning those scores or the points for that specific objective um, will also help towards getting that extra perk. Um, personally for me, I just like the three perk system. Just keep our three perks and go about our business. If you made it to this point of the video, don't forget to smash that like button. It helps me out, helps me grow as a content creator. Secondly, let me know what you guys are thinking of the MW2 beta. Let me know if you guys agree with my takeaways. If you disagree, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what your guy, your guys' key takeaways are if I missed something. Um, but other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next I'm one. Better. I'm just better, Peace out. Dang, I was on an 18 kill streak. Ooh. Ammo I just went in a circle. That's not what I meant to do. I don't like the new cruise missile. Holy shit, that was a good game.
31 kills. I carried. Pressing the wrong button. I only died four times. I went 31 and four. Are you kidding me? Holy cow.